At the beginning of his Year 9 maths lesson, Simon Brilliant shows one way he helps his students understand the learning objectives and makes them relevant. Afterwards, AST Gemma Fordyce comments on Simon's teaching style and its impact on learning. We're going to do tessellations today, recognise which quadrilaterals will tessellate across a plane and know which regular polygons. Uh, what is a tessellation? Or a tessellation across a plane? Talk to the person next to you and then tell me in 15 seconds. Have you met tessellation as a word before? No, what's that one? 89. Right. right. Um, Natasha, anyone on your table? Do we know what a tessellation is? That is a shape that could be like it fits together over a page, like you can repeat it over and over again. Oh repeat God, it over and over again, yeah. Same shape. The same shape that covers, the covers plane. the plane, a space, without leaving any gaps. 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 Absolutely. Gaps. Can you come up with an example of where you see tessellations every single day? The bathroom, the board. Yeah, the bathroom. The bathroom. The what, you mean like that? Yeah. yeah. I think this is a brilliant example of um, Simon showing how to make lesson objectives relevant and interesting to pupils. He puts it over to the pupils for them straight away to discuss what they think tessellations are. Talk to the person next to you and then tell me in 15 seconds. Simon is not assuming any knowledge at all. He gives pupils enough time to discuss with partners what they think a tessellation is, but limits it to really short time. So if they don't understand, it's not a wasted time. If they do, or their partner does, then they can share it with one another. Natasha, anyone on your <laughs> table? Do we know what a tessellation is? This pacey start to the lesson, the way he times it and his manner and how the pupils are responding, means that um, he can move on quickly with the learning, that he can move on to his lesson objectives, because he's always established that the class are aware of what a tessellation is. And more importantly, it's come from them. It hasn't come from him telling them. Can you come up with an example of where you see tessellations every single day? The bathroom, the board. The other key point of a lesson objective, not just in maths but in any subject, but particularly in maths, is he's made it immediately relevant to a real-life situation. Um, this means that they have a purpose for their learning. They're not just learning about a term that has no relevance. Tessellations are something that happen in life, and they've seen them in life. So it's not an abstract concept. And as soon as it's made relevant to the pupils, then there's going to be deeper thinking, higher level thinking, and the pupils are going to find it more interesting.